I would like us to explore a concept called the dead lane. In simple words, it is defined as the lane your team is choosing not to farm in. A quick look at the map shows that the side lanes and the mid lane are relatively far apart from each other. They are also the only areas teams can have vision of without exposing themselves, thanks to their respective creep waves moving along them continuously. The rest of the map is in the fog of war, where unless you or your teammates are present or have placed vision, guessing is the only option to know what's going on. Since there are usually three cores per team, efficiency would have it that each core farms a lane. However, here's the catch. Farming all three lanes at the same time is not possible, because it makes your team spread too thin and allows for pickoffs from the enemy. Those pickoffs can happen virtually in any lanes, you are therefore effectively giving one lane away to gain safety. Now comes the question of which lane should be given up. At around the 7 to 10 minute mark, when the laning stage is over and each player needs to actively ask himself what he should do and where, the map usually looks like this. The tier 1 tower in both the Radiant and Dire safe lanes are down. Let's use quick topology and geography to analyze what this means. More precisely, in one of the areas that interest us, let's choose the Radiant safe lane for this example. Here are the towers from each team and the waves meet around here. We see that the Dire Tower is much closer to the Creeps than the Radiant one. Also, here are the paths a Radiant hero can use to walk about in this area. They are much, much fewer than the paths the Dire has. All this leads to the dead lane usually being the safe lane. Farming here means exposing yourself to great risk since you are in a disadvantageous position and the enemy is probably here trying to capitalize on this advantageous position for them. Low MMR cores who suffer from SLS, single lane syndrome, repeatedly go back to this area regardless of the time on the clock and the inevitable happens over and over. <sighs> now, let's pause a moment and think. Dota is a globally balanced and symmetrical game. If there is a dangerous area for one team, then there is probably a similar area for the other team. If there is an area where your core is at risk of dying repeatedly, then surely there is an area where their core is dying repeatedly, which means it is relatively safe for your team. Having said that, where should your carry logically be? Correct. This useful neutral camp. Oh lord, have mercy. Alright, let's, let's be serious. One of the main corollaries of the deadlink concept is the war for information. And we are getting into so very high MMR thinking here. We have established that it is generally better for the Radiant to farm the top and mid lanes, mid and bot for the Dire. Now picture the following. Your carry miraculously understood he's probably better off farming in the enemy safe lane. Your mid laner is pressuring mid and two other teammates are in the fog of war trying to make a play. Since most of you are playing mid and top, at some point your bottom tower is going to get pressured by a shoved enemy creep wave and you will naturally want to protect it. Here is a prime example of a simple and intuitive move being dangerous. Once again, three heroes are showing in three different lanes. This lets the enemy know that this guy in their territory is at best backed up by two other heroes and is now potentially gankable. Supports should avoid showing themselves in order to not let the enemy, no the enemy know the core on the other side of the map is alone. What a skilled support would do in this situation is cast a spell from the trees while staying in the fog of war. If the same situation happens a few moments later, when your carry is now farming off vision in his triangle, it is different. You are now allowed to show without exposing him. And this is the beauty of Dota. When players reach this level of awareness where not only efficiency or greed dictates their next move, but also the well-being of their teammates, it becomes such an enjoyable game.